smoke is quieting down. Seems like we've got to a lot of the smoke. Dub, you got smoke? In the last few weeks, there has been an uproar on Twitter spaces. Joe Budden has been the center of many conversations. However, he deems the Twitter spaces to be hateful towards him. Joe Budden is number one when it comes to the urban podcast market. Who could really contest that? But being in that spot comes with overconfidence at times, arrogance, lack of empathy, risk of underestimation, and, you know, those type of people, you know, have insecurities. But here's what he had to say about the people who he thinks hates him. Look at the files. I'm grateful that the niggas that hate me are powerless bums. I've been in a position where the niggas that hated me were people in positions of power in these labels and these offices and every move you tried to make, they blocked it. Mm. These people are just talking on audio apps, which they, they reserve the right to do. So I'm not I'm not ever angry at words. I'm not ever angry at words. And I can't be angry at the actions because the nigga that he sent over here, he didn't come back. He didn't come back for more. So I mean, what are you gonna do? It could be worse. Niggas could be blocking you for multi million dollar deals and you and be unbeknownst to you because nobody's going to tell you that that's the person that's blocking you. Mm. Facts. I understand what that. That's mm-hmm. depressing. That's mm-hmm. sad. It's some niggas that I that had some animosity to me and stopped millions from coming when they would when those millions would have helped. So Joe Budden, as we know, the man of the hour sometimes, controversy king. He shared his frustration about people blocking him from deals. He was reflecting on a time when powerful figures in the music industry obstructed his path, costing him millions of dollars. Joe expressed how depressing and sad it is to face such barriers. You know, he took it to Twitter, though. You know, he labeled people on Twitter as powerless bums. Despite this, it's important to note that not everyone harbors animosity towards Joe. You know, on Twitter spaces, I've had the pleasure of hosting a lot of these discussions with Rocky, Thunder, and Tagstone. These sessions have been very, very entertaining. You know, both Rocky and Tax have a history with Joe Budden, yet the spaces aren't designed to crucify him. They share their experiences and even speak highly of his podcast, highlighting that the differing views often emerge when personal feelings are involved. Now, it's surprising that Joe Budden struggles to engage in conversation with Rocky and Tax without it escalating into an argument or him walking out. Joe is at a different point in his career now, but he remains one of the biggest antagonizers, openly admitting that he enjoys instigating and ruffling feathers for amusement. This raises an interesting point. Joe can dish it out, but he can't take it. You feel me? Joe's flaws are multifaceted. His tendency to antagonize and instigate can be seen as both a strength and a weakness. And on one hand, it feels engaging and provocative, you know, for content, you know, and it captivates the audience. But on the other hand, it alienates him from genuine dialogue and from him reconciling with, you know, the people that he's done wrong or people that may view him unfavorably. But Joe's overconfidence and tendency to dismiss others as weak or powerless can lead to underestimating potential allies and adversaries, you know. But this arrogance may stem from past hurts and betrayals. Joe Joe got some trauma, you know. He's shaping a defense and, and combative, you know, all the time. He's always combative. However... It also reveals reveals a lack of humility and an inability to handle criticism. You know what I'm saying? He, sometimes he can handle the constructive criticism. Sometimes he can't. 
But as Joe continues to navigate his career, it's clear that his provocative nature is both his armor and his Achilles heel. The entertainment world watches, you know, we all watch it. But we're aware of the tumultuous path he walks. Whether he can evolve and embrace a more balanced approach to discourse remains to be seen. But for now, Joe Budden remains a compelling figure, ever complex and ever controversial. And we'll be back with the files. Yeah. My guy, Dell, too. That's my man, though. Gang, gang. That's my man, big dog. 